Visionary Christians from 11 churches organized Rock River Christian Camp in 1944 and held camp sessions each year in a different location. In 1954, 19 churches purchased 70 acres located on Illinois Route 64, 8 miles northwest of Polo, where we are today. More than 60 Churches of Christ and Christian churches in northern Illinois, eastern Iowa, and southern Wisconsin have been an active part at Rock River Christian Camp. Camp began with a cluster of rustic cabins, which was our main camp. Diversity in camps began to come about with the addition of Wilderness Camp in 1970. Another decade later, the camp welcomed Outpost Camp into their programming in 1980. There were many camp sessions held within the main Wilderness and Outpost style. Multiple camps of the same age took place each summer, but the Wilderness and Outpost camps were very limited to in how many could attend each camp session. The wilderness camps could hold nine boys and nine girls, and the outpost camps could house ten boys and ten girls. Bike trips were a very popular program camp in the 80s. They would take a trip to the east and a trip to the west. Equestrian camps began in 1981. The All Weather Lodge in 1985, a favorite among most for its unique style of being built underground. The farm side was purchased in 1987, taking our original 70 acres to 90 acres. The new century came upon us. More and more advances in programming were made. We still offer main camps, wilderness, and equestrian, but as of 2017, our youth camps also include volleyball, music art and drama, and paintball. 16 different camps are offered for youth alone. Our camps are not only for the youth, but for all ages. Family Camp, Young at Heart, Ladies Crafting, The Rock Run 5K, Family Fun Free Days, Golf Benefits, Fall at Camp. We even started taking our mission of bringing people to Christ globally by offering a mission trip to Costa Rica in January of 2017. This camp has drawn many in and sent many out. The river has been around for years. As of 2017, we have been meeting for 73 years and planted in our location for 63. We have been around through the clip art phases and gluing pictures to flyers and brochures. We've been around through the no air conditioning and singing worship without the words on a screen. We were there when camp cost $20 per camper for a week and we watched as it slowly increased to where it is now. And through those years, thousands of young people have run, prayed, and sung their way through unforgettable experiences and weeks of learning more about God and His Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. In 1976, some asked, why have camp? Is it worth it? The scoffers will say no. But why then do so many ministers trace their moment of decision to a campfire service? Why do so many young people come home with a glow of a camp experience on their faces? Why are so many parents eager for their children to have a part in this yearly program? Why? Our hearts gently whisper the answer, it is worth it all. And more, to see young lives touched by the sweet Christian experience which prevails in nearly every camp week. Lives are molded and shaped and changed through our Christian camp program. To God be the glory, camping is ministry. When we look back at how camp used to be, we can see evident changes. Buildings, structures, trees, staff, programming. But the one thing that hasn't changed is spiritual depth. Every year, no matter what work project is being started or finished, spiritual depth remains at the core of it all. At Rock River is jam-packed, but leveled out for the biggest impact. We spend time doing our daily devotions, praising God through worship of songs and service, hearing lessons and diving deeper into them during small groups, or as we call them, family groups. There are so many different activities that we offer at camp for fun. Yes, swimming, zip line, crate stack, archery, basketball, volleyball, carpet ball, gaga ball, disc golf, traverse wall, water balloons, some of the craziest games, you name it. And then we calm down, stare into the star-filled sky, and have a meaningful campfire to tie the entire day together. Hi, my name is Tiffany Cox, and Rock River Christian Camp has been a huge part of my life, even before it was my turn to step onto camp in 03 as a first chance camper. I am the daughter of Trudy, maiden name Pfeffinger, who attended camp in the 70s. 
I remember her telling me stories of how everyone called her Grandma Trudy and how she always had to stay in the lower cabins. Camp impacted my mom's life and she was determined that my brother and I would have our share of camp as well. How grateful I am for that. I attended all the main camps, First Chance, Junior Main, Junior High Main, and High School Main, which is now First Chance, Embark, Elevate, and Edge. I loved it. It was my home away from home. I met friends from all over the place, and I always thought it was the coolest thing that I had friends from Iowa when I was from a little town called Streeter, Illinois. We would write letters to each other, and we even got together one winter. Every year it just seemed to get better and better. My faith grew so much and I even remember one year feeling like my faith grew so much more that I was actually devastated that I was already baptized because I wanted to get re-baptized because I love Jesus so much more now. I was just as a little fifth grader. Growing up, whenever I was asked to talk or write about a memory, whether it was my funniest, most embarrassing, silliest, emotional, whatever it was, it always seemed to be a camp memory. I actually have memories floating around my head right now. Camp shaped me in ways that I never would have imagined. And besides being a camper, I also participated in many other forms of camp. I did the SAW program, which stands for Servants at Work, and this is where you come and you serve a week, two weeks, a weekend, but you basically are washing dishes, scrubbing floors, cleaning tables, handing out canteen, basically whatever the camp needs help with, and that's a way that you would come and you would earn tuition money to go to camp. And so. I originally was doing it to help pay for my portion of camp, but I remember my very first week there, halfway through it, it wasn't about the money anymore. It was about being a servant, and I actually had this desire to get up in the mornings and go and serve and go and scrub the tables, and it was just something that was teaching me what it means to be a servant. I also served on the faculty team. Basically, as soon as I was old enough, I was serving on the faculty team, and that's where you come and you spend a session of camp. Uh, being the cabin moms, leading small groups, enjoying worship, and praising God and serving alongside these campers. And it's an incredible experience. Even as a high schooler leading a junior high small group, it was amazing. And it was something that, even though I was there to impact these students' lives, they were impacting my life in ways I never saw coming. I even to this day have made this friend, she was a junior higher, and we are going on seven years strong of just having this great mentorship, and I'm so grateful for that relationship that I wouldn't have had if I didn't volunteer a week at camp. I worked a few summers after high school doing maintenance at camp, which was the job position I least wanted, but it turned out to be the best option for me. I learned a lot, and I now have knowledge, or at least a drive to attempt to do some things on my own that I probably wouldn't have before. During my first summer working at camp, I found myself being pushed in a whole nother direction for my future, a direction that wasn't my own desire, but God's. When I finally gave in, I changed my major from psychology at Lincoln Christian University to youth and family ministry. Camp. It was where I wanted to be. It was what I wanted to do. I eventually had to do my internship for college. And can you guys guess where I did that at? Right here, Rock River Christian Camp, ending my fifth role here at camp. And by the middle of my internship, it was official. I was going to be hired on full time as the program coordinator. It was amazing how God used my mom's experiences at camp to influence her to send me. And who would have thought that when I walked onto this campground at eight years old, that I would have been working camp six roles later as a full time employee. God can do miraculous things and camp is just one tool that he uses to do them.